Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, 14 in MacBook Pro release date, price, and specs, please subscribe followed by the bell you can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So Apple has big plans for the MacBook Pro in 2021 with a redesign expected to turn the 13 in the model into a 14 in MacBook Pro. There are many more new features coming to the range, including Apple's M1 chip, which has already made an appearance in the entry-level models, and new screen technology. It seems that Apple will correct old mistakes with the new MacBook Pro models with the return of MagSafe and the disappearance of the touch bar. These changes have been rumored for some time, the 14 in MacBook Pro has been rumored for some time. At one point TF International Securities analyst Ming-Chi Kuo had even suggested that the 14 in MacBook Pro would be here by the end of 2020, but he later changed his forecast, suggesting that Apple's plans had been pushed back to 2021 because it wanted to use mini-LED displays in the new models and there were problems with supply due to the coronavirus pandemic. As it turns out, problems with supply have become a bit of a theme. We were hopeful that the new MacBook Pro would appear around the time of WWDC 2021 in June, but that is now looking doubtful. Apple is one of many manufacturers being affected by global component shortages, and as a result, we could be waiting a while for the new MacBook Pro. In March an EK report indicated that the MacBook launch had been pushed back to autumn 2021 due to global chip and component shortage, and then a further report in April made a similar claim that the shortage of chips has led to difficulties getting the circuits mounted on the motherboard on the MacBook model. Frequently accurate analyst Ming-Chi Kuo shares the view that we won't see the new 14 in MacBook Pro until autumn 2021. In a February note to investors, Kuo repeated his prediction that the launch won't happen until the third quarter of 2021. However, according to a DG Times report in May, Supplier TSMT has overcome production difficulties that previously held back the development of a mini-LED MacBook. So we could see them soon after all. Both analyst Ming-Chi Kuo and Bloomberg's Mark Gurman have indicated that we can expect an extensive redesign for the 14 in MacBook Pro. As per a January 2021 report, we can expect significant design changes including a flat-edged iPhone 12-like design, no touch bar, the return of MagSafe charging, and more ports, including an SD slot. In addition the 14 in the laptop will use a similar heat pipe system to the 16 in MacBook Pro, which should increase the thermal headroom and enable better performance. In May 2021 Apple leaker John Prosser tweeted a claim that a new MacBook will come in a selection of colors, just like the 24 in iMac. We think it's unlikely that this new model will be the new 14 in MacBook Pro, however, Prosser's source also told him that the new iMac would come with a choice of colors, so there is certain to be something colorful in the pipeline at Apple. When the 16 in MacBook Pro launched in November 2019 it benefited from a bigger screen made possible by reduced bezels, you can see the difference in the image above, the old model is on the left. Following the arrival of that model, there have been rumors that Apple might replace the current 13 MacBook Pro with a model with a bigger screen. This doesn't mean that the dimensions of the current 13 in the model will change, the thinking is that Apple could produce a 14 in MacBook Pro by reducing the bezels around the display. It's worth noting that the 13 in MacBook Pro actually measures 13.3 inches. Despite what Schiller said, we do think it's possible that the 13 in MacBook Pro will gain a bigger display like the 16 in MacBook did, but there could be even more in store for the new display. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has suggested that Apple will add a mini-LED display to the MacBook Pro and various other products it makes it has already added on to the 12.9 in iPad Pro. Mini-LED was delayed by production difficulties as well as pandemic-related problems, but in May 2021 it was reported that supplier TSMT has overcome the technical hurdles and is now all set to supply mini-LED panels for the MacBook Pro in 2021. Amidst the rumors that the new MacBook Pro will feature a mini-LED display comes one from DG Times in March 2021 that indicates that Apple will use an OLED display for the MacBook Pro later this year. The DG Times report indicates that Apple is looking at mini-LED, micro-LED, and OLED technologies to be used for the MacBook and iPad lineups. 
We expected to see 2.3 GHz 8-core i9 9th generation TB 4.5 GHz, AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with 4 GB of GDDR6 memory, 16 GB 2666 MHz DDR4 memory, 4 Thunderbolt ports, 1 TB, 2799 pounds. In November 2020 Apple updated the two entry-level 13 in MacBook Pro models, making them some of the first Macs to adopt Apple's M1 chips. The other two 13 in MacBook Pro models in the range remained untouched since their update in May 2020 when they gained 10th generation Intel processors and more RAM. It's possible that Apple Silicon will make it possible for Apple to achieve more battery life from the smaller models the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro offers 20 hours of battery life so it looks promising. That is all for now, are you a MacBook fan let me know in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.